Hi, Talita. Happy Tuesday, I think it is. It is May 19th. Um, I'm going to read a story called Some Things Are Scary No Matter How Old You Are. And this is written by Florence Perry Hyde, illustrated by Jules Pfeiffer. And I am sitting at the Toledo lunch benches right now. And I'm sitting at the lunch benches because sometimes lunch can be a scary time. Especially if you're going into middle school, it might make you nervous if you don't know who you're gonna sit next to, or maybe you're in elementary school and you might have allergies and it makes you kind of nervous to be here. Know that the schools keep everyone safe and everyone has things they're scared of. So just wanted to address that sometimes things are scary. Even in this time, even adults get scared. This is dedicated for Lydia, Abigail, and Margaret Huck. The illustrator dedicates this for Emma Horn. Some things are scary. Getting hugged by someone you don't like is scary. Stepping on something squishy when you're in your bare feet is scary. Seeing a big warning sign and you can't understand what it's saying is scary. Thinking you're not going to be picked for either side is scary. Smelling a flower and finding a bee was smelling it first is scary. Thinking, what if you've been born a hippopotamus is scary. Skating downhill when you haven't learned how to stop is scary. not seeing a helmet. You guys all wear helmets when you're skateboarding and biking, right? Holding on to someone's hand that isn't your mother's, who you thought it was, is scary. Brushing your teeth with something you thought was toothpaste but isn't, is scary. Telling a lie is scary. Being on a swing when someone is pushing you too high is scary. <laughs> Finding out your best friend has a best friend who isn't you is scary. Playing hide and seek when you're it and you can't find anyone is scary. Having your best friend move away is scary. Thinking about a bird with big teeth who might swoop down and carry you away is scary. Having to tell someone your name and they can't understand you and you have to spell it is scary. Getting scolded is scary. Reaching under your bed for your shoes and grabbing something you don't know what it is is scary. But I bet if you clean your room, you won't have to reach down and grab scary things so much. Brian and Mallory. Being with your mother when she can't remember where she parked the car is scary. It happens. Thinking you're never gonna get any taller than you are right now is scary. Looking in the mirror while you're having a haircut and they're cutting it too short is scary. 
all you sudden hairdressers, you. Stepping down from something that is higher than you thought it was is scary. Having people look at you and laughing and you don't know why, it's scary. Knowing your parents are talking about you and you can't hear what they're saying is scary. Climbing a tree when you don't remember how to get down is scary. Being with your parents in an art museum and thinking you're never gonna see the exit sign is so scary. Sorry kids, sometimes we bore you with things we think are so fascinating, but you'll remember it when you're older, I promise. Knowing you're going to be a grown up, oh, excuse me, knowing you're going to grow up and be a grown up is scary. And there are so many different things in there about what can be scary in life. Um, guess what, I am a grown up and I'm still scared of being a grown up, but I think I'm surviving okay. So I think when we get scared, maybe it's important to think of a time that we were able to overcome that fear and how whatever we prepared for or however we prepared for helped us to be okay. And that's what you can do right now. So fifth graders, if you're nervous about transitioning to middle school, your teachers have prepared you academically, you will be fine. Your parents are preparing you emotionally. Your friends are gonna be there for you. All of us at Toledo are here for you if you need to talk to us. And then even younger kids, if you're going from kindergarten to first grade, that's a huge jump. You're gonna be in school much longer. There are plenty of things to be feeling scared about, but it's totally okay to feel scared and talk about it and maybe cuddle with an animal or give a pet a nice pat or do some art, listen to some music, play some music, make some drumming sounds, giggle, cry, crying helps. Um, I don't know, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know of things that you do so you're not so scared. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. It is gorgeous. The rain cleaned us all up yesterday. Hope you have a nice day. Bye.